Hello and welcome to a very simple tutorial on how to download Fabric for 1.19. Now the very first thing you gotta do, I'm gonna try and speed run this and get through everything short, sweet, and to the point. First thing you wanna do is go to your Minecraft launcher and normally you will be able to see in the play button version here the Minecraft 1.19, whoops scroll down way too much, 1.19 latest version. Right here you can see it has a grass block that says latest release 1.19. If that happens to not be there, which it should, press new installation. You can type in whatever you want. 1.19 is very simple. Change your uh, thumbnail. You don't have to, but you can change the little thumbnail there. And you can go to latest version. Naturally, it will say latest release, but it will update every single release if you leave it on latest release. So you might want to change that to release 1.19. Once you click that, click create and then you go back to play click the version button here and scroll down to your 1.19 click on play and now it will start downloading this version if you haven't already downloaded it if it's already been downloaded before and you already know this step then we're going to head over to fabric and once we go to fabric you're going to want to click on the download button on the top right here once you click that, it will take you to the download page. This will show the download for Windows or download universal jar. Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna click on download for Windows. Once the download is complete, you can double click it and it will show a pop-up. Once that pop-up is complete, you're gonna wanna head back to Minecraft. If you finish the installation, you can quit the game. We're gonna do a couple things here. First off, we're going to check if the Minecraft version is on the correct version. 1.19 it is here so we're good show snapshots you don't need to worry about that we're going to be only doing 1.19 loader version this is just the version of fabric that you want you're going to want to do the highest one which in this case 0.14.7 it's going to ask where your installing so uh, location is create profile what this means is it's asking will it create a automatic profile in this selection of the version selection uh, and so it'll create one of these it'll have a thumbnail as well and if you do want that then you can select create profile if you don't want it then just deselect I want it though so I'm gonna click create profile I'm gonna click install it's gonna do its thing for a little bit Fabric Loader for 1.19 has been successfully installed. Once you see that, you're good to go. Press OK, and we can exit out of this installer. The next thing you're gonna wanna download is Fabric API. And this is actually a mod that helps actually do the full support of what Fabric does. Without it, you won't be able to do much on Fabric. So what I usually do is go to the recent files and click on the most recent version. If you go to files here, you can go down and see more details. You can see better stats of what's going on, such as the actual uh, game version. You can see the date as well. You can see five days ago. I'm going to download that one. I want to make it clear that these websites are down in the description. So if you click on those links, you'll be able to go to these locations in case you're confused on where to go. I'm going to download this once again in my downloads, press save, and I'm not going to double click on this this time. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the Minecraft launcher. Yes, I know it's a lot of repetitive steps here, but I'm going to go back into Minecraft launcher and I'm going to click on install. Uh, once I go to the inst installations, I can see Fabric Loader 1.19 because I clicked on that create profile. I'm going to click on this folder here. And when I do so, it's going to take me to the Minecraft folder. Once you're in the Minecraft folder, you're going to want to go down to mods. However, I have had some comments saying that the mods folder was not inside the Minecraft folder. And so as a result, if you do not have the mods folder or mod data folder in Minecraft, then you're going to want to right click and click on a new folder once you create a new folder just type in mods and once you have mods press enter i'm not going to do it now because i already have a mods folder and then same with mod data just do mod data press enter you're good to go minecraft will see this as an important folder and it will recognize that this is what you're talking about so we're going to actually click and drag into the mods folder once you got that good to go 
you're all set and you have everything downloaded that you need for fabric both fabric loader and fabric api hope you guys enjoyed watching have a fantastic day catch you guys in the next video bazooka the like button and consider subscribing because i'm going to continue doing things like this in the future see you later thank you for watching till the end check out this video here that was suggested by youtube and have a great day